Hi, I'm John from Plots Online. We've established trading partners all around the world, Vietnam, China, Malaysia, Thailand, and the Philippines. But today, I'm in Burma. Burma has only recently opened up for tourism due to the political unrest in this country. But today, I'll be taking a flight high in the Burmese mountains to a pottery village factory. Share this journey with me. Factory, and what's amazing is the temples here. It's a Buddhist country, and just quite elaborate. Even here, even at the factory, you can see the the extent of that that temple. So, in a jungle area here, it's quite overgrown, and after rain, the uh, undergrowth comes up very quickly. I have to watch where I step today. Chewing this, can you tell me what this is? This is a pita nut. A pita nut and the, the leaf and and the nub, cassian, the tobacco and some, some, what is that? Some dessert. Aha, uh -huh, so that's something that you chew, chew it with for flavor and then, then you spit it out. Spit it out and a little bit Mare, drum. Oh, dumb, I see. Dumb. Look like alcoholic. Oh, okay. It's a bit like alcohol. <laughs> alcohol. I think I have to try one of those. Okay, so I, I eat the whole thing. Mm, okay. Mm. Is that okay? <laughs> oh, it's got a very weird taste. You don't swallow, do you? Mm. You spit. Spitty, spitty, spitty. After the soup uh -huh. coming. My whole mouth has gone numb already. My local dentist could use this. Quite impressive with the size the pots are able to make in this kiln here. You can see the size here standing next to that, and the lovely salad on green colour they've got, and the lovely brown. You can see that brown through there. So all the pots at this factory are handmade in some really lovely colours that are coming through. Lovely glazed colours. Unique, all handmade, nothing made by machine. I really love this pot. I haven't seen anything like this before. It's called a frog jar. And if you look on the sides here, you can see the, the frogs mounted on the side. Yeah. Because the pots are handmade here and the kilns are quite tall, uh, size isn't an issue here. So we're able to produce Quite some big pots here, which is which is ideal for the Australian market for you know statement pots. You can see they're preparing the clay, kneading it, all done by hand. No machines on site at this factory. And then looking around here, you can see the pots that have been made, just drying out. A couple of days to dry out before the glaze is applied, and then placed into the kiln. of you who know a little bit about pottery uh, you have a spinning wheel uh, here it's we've certainly got the wheel it's certainly spinning and you can see that the lady over here is actually doing the spinning and the gentleman here is doing the, the pottery work quite interesting how they get the measurement of the pot to maintain the consistency uh, when you're ordering you can see the, the bamboo across here to making sure that the, the circumference of the pot is made right. How are you guys going? You enjoying it today? <laughs> yeah, quite an incredible place here. Uh, just lovely to see a whole village spring up around this pot factory with, with 75 workers. Standing outside one of the kilns, all the kilns at this factory are gas kilns, so they'll get that nice consistency with the colour, which is a really important thing. You can see inside the kiln here, they're stacking that. 
getting ready for, uh, once that's full, um, that kiln will be fired. Here you can see the bigger gas kiln here, so it's quite, quite a large kiln. And you can see coming off the side of the, the gas pipe here, feeding through here, permanently have the kettle on for the workers. Very clever. See over here behind me that they're hand applying the, the glaze. You can see how that's an orange colour, but when that's fired, that'll come out that lovely celadon green colour. So quite labour intensive here with 75 workers, but quite a, a good operation by all accounts. In Burma is that men and women have like a sunscreen on their face. The you can, you can see here. It's very, very popular. What, what actually is that, NT? Danaka. Danaka. Danaka means the... Danaka means what it's called. Nyama Mika. Nyama Tadishin Nyama Mika. It comes from a tree. So, yeah, the, the tree. Yeah. And and did, did they buy it in a like in a bottle or something, or they take it straight from the tree? You know, they can <laughs> they can buy the ready made. Also, they can make grinding with sandstone. With you can shoot the naka. What's sick? You know. So we're at the manager's yeah, house. Yeah, you see, this is for the pottery here. This is the naka. Ah, uh, this is it here. Mm. And this is sandstone. They grind it like that with water and pop face for and protects them from the sun. Yeah, and also make it probably SP fifty, I'd say. Mm. So I've been told I need to cover up with my my face here with a harsh sun. So they're preparing some sunscreen for me. I will uh, blend in with the locals, no doubt. So I've now I've got my local sunscreen on. I'm protected from the sun, and uh, I'm going to sit down with the uh, the village factory here and work out some trading terms and place an order, um, which will be bound for for Sydney. So I look forward to the pots that I've selected today uh, coming in. So remember, wear sunscreen. Thanks for watching this Pots Online documentary behind the scenes. I look forward to sharing the next adventure with you. Free range chickens.